Hi YouTube friends, it's Diaper Kiddo Jason, and Domino is here, but she is passed out. Um, and I kind of don't blame her because it is really late. Um, it's Friday night, it's August 3rd, it is after midnight, so it's now technically Saturday morning. Um, it's a little past 1 a.m. actually, and I can't believe I'm still up because I had such a full day. But I really wanted to talk to you guys tonight, like, while everything is sort of still fresh in my mind. So, in my last video, I talked about how earlier this week, I was supposed to be uh, getting together with another uh, local AB uh, that I had met and had lunch with him and his wife. Um, who is also his mommy, uh, last Friday. And, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still really dried out. This is three videos in a row. Like, I'm just dehydrated, apparently. But um, I had lunch with him last Friday, <clears throat> and then uh, he invited me to uh, come hang out with him at his place with some friends uh, that were going to be traveling up to visit from down south. And, uh, unfortunately at the last minute, um, due to circumstances that were really just outside of anybody's control, uh, he had to cancel. And so we instead rescheduled it as a play date, uh, just for me and him for today. And so I have to be honest with you guys, like last night, I was so nervous. I had knots in my stomach. Um, like, I just had, like, existential dread about today. And, like, specifically because, like, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, I'm relatively new to the idea of, like, accepting my little side and really kind of embracing it. And I say, like, relatively, because it's been within the past few years. But in that time, I haven't really had the opportunity to um, like, hang out with anybody else that was also an AB or a little. And so, like, I was really nervous. I was so just, like, super scared. Um, and I apologize for the quality of the video. I know it's really dark. Um, I'm filming it on my phone. I didn't set anything up. I have, like, no lighting in here, so I am so sorry. Um, but please bear with me. I just really wanted to kind of talk to you guys tonight. Um, but so I was really nervous. I was so nervous about today and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this anyway, because I'm not going to let my nerves and like my social anxiety get in the way of being able to really have fun today. And, you know, I had had lunch with my friend and his mommy and they're both really cool people. And I just, I really had a good feeling and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to power through this, like, nerve issue that I have. And I'm just going to do it. And so this morning, I got up really early. And I took Domino to the P-A-R-K. And I can't say the word because she knows what that word means. And in spite of the fact that she's asleep, and in spite of the fact that it's 1 o'clock in the morning, if I say the word and she hears it, she'll want to go. But, um, I took her over there to that place and then I fed her and made sure she had plenty of water. And then I gathered up all of my stuff, my big backpack that I showed you guys in the last video that had all of my diapers and cute clothes and all of my changing supplies and pacifiers. And then I also took apple juice and cookies and applesauce and I took, um, some movies that we actually didn't end up watching. Um, and I got everything loaded in the car and I left here at about 1030 this morning and, um, he lives really close, like, okay, relatively, like, I'm sure that for, for some of the people that watch my videos, 30 minutes away is probably not, like, doesn't really sound like really close. Hold on, my arm is going to sleep. Okay, that's a little better. Um, but I know that that's not really going to sound like super close, but 
like relatively for me, that's really close. Um, it wasn't a bad drive at all. Oh, look, now you guys get to see Domino being very sleepy. But um, it wasn't a bad drive, and I got to his house at about 11 this morning, and I went inside, and they gave me the little tour, and then we talked a little bit, like, in grown-up mode. And then we kind of separated, and um, his mommy went to take him to go get changed, and I went into their guest room, and I changed. And so I got diapered, and then I put on my short alls and my, my cute little Naughty Bear shirt that you guys have seen. Um, and I got my, my really cute blue fuzzy socks out and I got out my pacifier and like, okay, it's kind of weird. Like, and I get that it's kind of weird, but like, I don't really have anxiety about people like seeing me in little clothes. Like I'm wearing my Doraemon shirt right now and like, that doesn't really bother me. Um, and I don't know if it's because, like, I have my YouTube channel, and so, like, you guys see me, like, dressed up in my little clothes all the time, and I don't know if that's why I'm more comfortable with it, but that wasn't really where my, like, nerves were coming from. It was really that I was concerned about, like, being in little space, and, like, part of me was kind of worried that I wouldn't even be able to get into little space. Like, I was just so nervous. And it was all, like, for nothing. I had no reason to be nervous because when I came out, um, my friend was all done getting changed and he was wearing the cutest onesie. I could have died. It was so cute. Um, and he had pulled out these really cool toys that he has. So, like, these toys, it's interlocking, like, pieces and um, they have like loops and they have slides and zigzags and um, tunnels and all these really cool pieces and what happens is you put them together and you lock them together and then you can drop a marble in the top and the marble will go and spin around and then go along the the path that you've created and so like what we would do is we would put a few pieces together and then we would drop a marble and then we would take turns adding another piece to the tower. And then we would drop the marble and then add another piece and drop the marble. And by the end of it, it was taller than either of us. And it was so cool. And I don't know what it was, but like I instantly, instantly was able to get into little space. Like fully. Like I was laughing and ch clapping and cheering and giggling and shuffling my feet and like I had like zero like reservations um and like it was the strangest thing how quickly time passed because like I don't know if it's because like in my little space I had no concept of time but I can honestly I cannot tell you how long we were playing I could not guess at how long we were playing um I have a feeling it was a lot longer than it felt which was so super cool and, like, we were both just, like, having the best time. Like, just two kids just having the best time. It was so awesome. And so after a certain period of time, indeterminate amount of time, um, we decided to change things up. And so um, instead we climbed into his giant ball pit that he had that is, like, the size of a hot tub. Like, several like grown adults could fit into it comfortably and um it was just it was very cool like i mean just floating in the balls was just so much fun um and we were listening to the soundtrack to beauty and the beast which the animated beauty and the beast like i liked the live action movie it was good um, but nothing will ever touch the Disney classic that was the first animated feature film to ever be nominated for a Best Picture Academy Award because it was that good. This is my favorite Disney movie, and we were listening to the soundtrack, which was amazing. And so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm really dried out. Um, three videos in a row, really, three videos in a row. I'm just, I'm sorry. It's this weather, but, um... 
So we were in the ball pit for a little while, and I had uh, a bottle of juice with me that his mommy poured me a bottle and poured him a sippy cup of juice, and we were piled up in the in the ball pit talking, and it was really very cool because we were having like like a grown up conversation, like on a mature level. We were talking about like tabletop role playing and things like that, <clears throat> but. Um, we were both, at least I, I can't speak for him, but I was like still firmly in little space. Like it was so cool because like I was having this, you know, intelligent, stimulating conversation, but I was very much still in my little space. And like, I've never had that happen before. That was very cool. And so um, partway through the ball pit, like I was getting really soggy because I was wearing your bare bums and like bear bombs are cute and all, but they don't hold very much. And so <clears throat> I had to get out and I had to change. And I'm sorry for clearing my throat. Um, if I can remember to, I'll cut that out. But I won't remember. I won't remember. But um, so I had to get out and change. And when I came back, instead of wearing my short alls and my naughty bear shirt, I decided to um, get into my Paw Patrol onesie instead so that we would match which was super fun and we sat around in the ball pit for a little bit longer talking and then we got out and the three of us me and my friend and his mommy uh were playing a card game together and it was super 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 fun um it kind of reminded me of like like a collectible card game along the lines of like Magic the Gathering or the Pokemon trading card game, something like that where like there's different combinations and each card has different effects and you can kind of chain things off of each other. And um, I've never played it before, but like I think I was doing pretty well. We will never know because we didn't get to finish the game because inexplicably from the time that I had arrived, Five hours had passed, and I still do not know how that happened because it felt like maybe an hour, two, if you're really pushing it, and somehow five hours had passed. And so it was time for our play date to be over. Um, and so we put away the toys, and uh, we got dressed back up in our big clothes, and uh, then he and I stood by my car talking for a little while longer, and then I came home and uh, like to check on Domino and my husband was already home from work he got to leave a little early today which was A plus because he doesn't get to do that very often um, but he had to go in really early this morning too he always has to go in early on Fridays but um, and so then at about 6 o'clock and I, I had left their place at mm, maybe 4.30 or so and at six, we met them and we had dinner together, all four of us. And that way they could meet my husband and he could meet them. And they seemed to really hit it off and he really liked them. He thought they were very cool. Um, and so it was just, it was a wonderful day. And like, we even did a diaper exchange because like I have the Tykables, like the entire, all four of the different Tykables um, that we had ordered recently. And he hasn't gotten to try any of the Tykables. And he had some crinkles and some uh, ABU peekaboos, which I haven't gotten to try. So we traded. And it was just like so much fun. Wow, Twitter notifications, super bright. Stop, you're killing me. Thank you. Ah, sorry, it's dark in here. But um, it was just, it was a lot of fun. And it was amazing how much we have in common, like both on a little level and on an adult level. Um, like his birthday is the day before mine. And so we are absolutely going to have to do something awesome for our birthday. Um, and like, we have a lot in common, like our interests align really well. Um, he's into the same kind of stuff. He and his mommy are into the same kind of stuff that we are as like pop culture, like science fiction and fantasy and role playing and things like that. Um, superheroes and all that sort of thing. Um, and then like what was what I thought was really really cool was like we started talking in the first place because we're both writers um like I've told you guys before I've got I've done a lot of fiction writing um and he is a writer that I already knew from his writing which 
Like, that's so cool. Like, a writer that I really enjoyed and respected, I found out lives locally, you know, and we can hang out and, like, have fun as little time together. Like, that's just cool, you know? So it was the best day. I had such a good day. Um, like, I can't even begin to express to you guys. Like, this was the coolest day I've had in memory. Um, and as you guys know, like, I've been kind of in a weird place since I left my job. Um, like, I don't really leave the house a whole lot. And I've never really had any local friends here. Um, like, I have one friend, but he moved across town, and I don't really get to talk to him very much. Um, and that was really the extent of, like, my friends in the real world, you know. And my coworkers, when I worked at the bookstore, um, they were coworkers. They were not friends. They were coworkers. We were um, socially pleasant to each other. But, so, like, it's been a long time since I've been able to just hang out with somebody and have a really good time. And I really did, guys. I had such a great day. Like, I needed this so bad. And it was so much fun. Like, I've never been able to have, like, a play date like that before. And, you know, that was just really neat. And it was such an honor that they allowed me to come to their house. And, you know, allowed me to share in that. And I feel really privileged and very grateful and the cool thing is I think I've made like friends that we're gonna be friends like good friends like we all have a lot in common and that's something that we've needed I mean my husband works way too much and until I quit my job from burnout I worked way too much and we didn't really do a whole lot socially and you know we had our like annual trip to Georgia to visit my in-laws and that was like the big thing to look forward to and it's been that way for a while now. And so, like, I'm just so super happy. So that's kind of my update for tonight. I just really wanted to talk to you guys about this because, like, I'm still floating. I'm, like, still Loki in little space because this was such a good day. Um, like, I need more days like this. I really do. Um, so I'm going to pick this video up again in a few moments it's going to be later in the week for you guys i'm gonna have to get there the slow way but i will meet you there and hopefully i'll hear something in the next few days about the job that i applied for that i can talk about in this next segment so hopefully like i don't have any convenient wood um so we're gonna pretend that drywall is made of wood and we are gonna knock on wood um that i get this job like i really really hope that i do but that's my update for tonight. I will see you again in just a moment. And hopefully, Domino will be in that part of the video too. And as promised, it is now later in the week. It is Thursday night. And it's, well, it's actually Friday morning because it's after midnight. Uh, but I wanted to wait until today to film this part of the video because I was hoping that I would have some good news for you guys on the job front and the job that I had applied for. And unfortunately, I haven't heard anything officially back yet. Um, so I'm gonna send them, I'm gonna send the interviewer an email tomorrow just to follow up and let them know that I'm definitely still interested. Uh, very interested because I'm so eager to go back to work. But, uh, I do have a little news. So I have a spy and my spy within the organization um, did inform me that they are definitely interested. Things look really promising. I don't have any commitments yet, but uh, things do look really promising on that front. So hopefully I will be working soon. And of course, if I hear anything, I will update you guys. But that's really the reason why I waited until tonight to film is because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I gave it as much time as possible in case good news came through. Um, <sighs> sorry, I have to adjust, like, my arm is getting tired of holding my phone up in space. Um... But uh, I do have a little bit of other news. I'm going to keep this part of the video short. Um, 
because the first part of the video was the part that really matters like that um, you guys saw, like, I was glowing. I still am a little bit, just because of how amazing my playdate was. Um, and I'm just, I am so just immensely grateful to my friend for allowing me to share in that day with him. Um, it was so much fun and meant a lot to me because you guys know that I have struggled in the past with my little side. And... I've never really been able to, like, sorry, I'm really tired in my eyes, I keep rubbing my eyes, but um, I've never really been able to just completely get into little space, like, there's always been, like, a little voice in the back of my head that's, like, my grown-up side telling me that I'm being silly and, you know, what am I doing, um, and I didn't on Friday, that was the first time that I have just completely engaged in little space, and it was the most amazing floaty feeling, like, I'm just, I'm immensely grateful, and, you know, being able to spend that day with a new friend who's turning out to be a really good friend, you know, and his mommy, who is completely amazing and awesome, and just a very interesting person, and, you know, it was so good. I'm so grateful. And I'm just, I'm glad that, you know, these new people have come into my life that are just really awesome people. Um, you know, it's, it's been a very positive experience all the way around. And I'm so grateful to both of them. Um, and so my little bit of news that I wanted to share is, um, of course, my friend and I have been talking a lot. And um, I think I mentioned to you guys, I can't remember right at the moment, but I think I mentioned to you guys that our birthday, um, our birthdays are one day apart, and our birthdays are next month, and so we've made some tentative plans. Uh, there's an ABDL event uh, that's going to be going on next month on my birthday, so like the day after his birthday, and then on my birthday um, that we are looking at going to, and so it will be me and my husband and my friend and his mommy um, will be going to this event. And it's a little different. It's something different that, you know, I've never really um, tried. But it is definitely a uh, an aspect of my little side that I'm interested in exploring. So, like, I'm nervous, but I'm also excited. And I'm hopeful that this will be something that we really enjoy. But we have made collective plans that if this... Um, gets out of hand in any way or if it's anything that nobody's comfortable with then we will politely leave and go do something else um, but I think it's going to be fun um, I'm going to be able to meet new people and make some new friends and you know kind of enjoy my little side again um, which is going to be amazing so I really hope that it's something awesome but um, that's going to be on my birthday and that's next month and that's really my updates for tonight. So, um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and support, supporting me and supporting my channel and, you know, embracing the content that I'm creating. It does mean a lot to me. So thank you so very much. And I'm going to sleep now because I'm super tired. But if anything changes, of course, I will update you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.